Hey, this is Carl, and welcome to another unboxing. So stay tuned. We're going to unbox an X-Men statue today. Uh, it came in two boxes. The other one is still in the floor. I'm going to unbox the uh, bigger box first. Uh, it is labeled two out of two. So I am hoping the base will be here. If not, I'm going to search it on the first box and we'll uh, proceed with that. Let's start the unboxing. get the blade in. Okay. Not sure if this guy has an art box and yep it does. Okay. It also has this plastic thing again but it's inside the box. Which is cool. Unboxing solo is always a challenge. Ah oh, man. Okay, there you go. Whew. That was a challenge. That's why I love unboxing uh, statues without art box because sometimes. Uh, I don't need to get the uh, foam and box outside the uh, shipper box and I just need to uh, get the foam one by one inside the box. So here we have uh, the statue for today and we have a blurred out Magneto uh, statue. has a different uh, angle here and a portrait switch out a more close-up photo of Magneto and another unmasked portrait and at the top it's just written Magneto over here so I'm gonna remove this plastic first okay Now we have the black phone. This one is pretty light, so I'm guessing the base is not here. So this Magneto came in the usual black foam and velcro straps. So it's time to unwrap this guy. So a little uh, information or background about this statue. Uh, this statue was originally supposed to be produced by RCB, uh, which stands for Royal Custom Brotherhood, I think. Uh, they did the famous uh, Caleb Nefson, Dr. Doom on Throne, and the Daniel Bell uh, Dynamic Magneto. So, uh, since they became a scammer now, uh, the file was bought by a different studio and they managed to actually produce it and even gave discounts to the original buyers who were scammed. So, the original uh, version of this was supposed to be one third scale. But now uh, it's in one fourth scale, which is the scale we all know and love. So the base is not in this box, and I have to find it first. Okay, so the base will be in this box. So we are going to unbox this first. I'm pretty sure uh, the second box will not have the. Uh, art box since uh, I do have the Magneto on throne from this group and the second box doesn't have the art box. See? 
So it came in the usual again, black foam and uh, velcro straps, which I like. So future note to self, unbox the uh, first box first, since this one is labeled one out of two. And uh, the only thing that's in here is actually the vase. And it's very massive. Wow. I'm gonna try and pull it here in the metal stuff if okay I won't pull out I think I need to remove this first to make it a little bit loose and let's see okay now it's doable The base is very massive guys. <clears throat> okay, so this is the base. It's this massive. Uh, it's just random metal parts uh, combined into one and there seem to be like a center thing at the middle. I don't know what that is. Uh, it does have a like sub base here which is of the same color and okay it does have a sticker there you go it's by NMK Studios and let's see I can't read yeah it's Magneto so there's an edition size of 30 and I was able to get number 17 and boy that was heavy okay try to move this guy here a bit so I need to return all the stuff so that's why this box is very light because the base is not here anyway going back we have the legs here on the top left It's a bit light. Now we have the legs for Magneto. He does have some textures here at the insides, but nothing on the outside. Comes with a lot of uh, shading for the definition of his muscles. His belt is metallic, which I like, really, really like. His uh, underwear is not metallic, but still purple. The sh uh, armor thing on his lower leg is metallic again, as well as the straps. His shoes is not. And he does have some uh, spikes on his boots. And the pegs, I mean keyhole is here. And the pegs are actually on the base. So let's try and fit him in. Should be pretty easy. You need to wiggle him a bit to uh, fit perfectly. I was a little bit worried there. Okay, all good. Next is we have a bunch of metallic, I mean metallic, iron uh, rods here. I really don't like statues with such things. Uh, makes assembly very complicated. Are these real? Yeah, they're, these are real uh, metal wires. And here we have more of them and some of them. Okay. Uh, to save time, I'm just going to focus on one. Here's one of the metal rods uh, that will be part of the base. It's very flexible, as you can see, and it's not breaking. 
and we also have this um, metal wire it's actually real wire I think I don't think that this is yeah this is real wire so it's very hard and this will definitely not break but it will bend and I got a bunch of this metal uh, rods one two three four five six seven eight I got eight pieces of them and I have one two three four five six six pieces of this metallic wires steel wires I think okay oh I have two more here so yeah that's a lot might need a manual for that Okay, we have the portraits. We have the first portrait here. He is sealed pretty good. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. They were able to do that. Okay, we have the first portrait of Magneto. Okay, the helm is metallic red. Uh, his eyes are decals. Very nice paint on the mouth and the teeth, but it's not gloss, but I think that's okay. And very, very nice skin tones. Good job! Love this portrait. I put that side first, and let's unbox the other portraits. So we have a more calm looking portrait of Magneto here. Again, uh, metallic helm, decal eyes, but his mouth is shut, no teeth. Like I said, he is more calm. While the other guy is more angry looking with the teeth out. So I'm guessing the other portrait will be a screaming portrait. Okay, so the uh, last portrait is a light up portrait, as you can see here. So the eyes will glow and he is screaming like I uh, guessed earlier. So uh, the helm will go here. How did I... Oh, it's... Okay, you need to uh, bend it a little bit. Wow, that's a perfect fit. Okay, there you go. His eyes is white without the light. Yeah, should have added the gloss effect on the mouth. But it's a pretty good portrait. Okay, moving. Oh wow, it has six portraits. Okay, we have an calm looking mask portrait at mask portrait I mean very nice hair wow well done well done very nice skin tone as well again with the decal eyes so we have th two more portraits here yeah amazing six portraits my other uh, Magneto on Throne also has six portraits. Okay. Wow. This one looks like he has a very fragile bounce here on the front. Then this guy. I'm happy that it didn't came break. Again, amazing hair. Lots of strands, lots of details. So this is a more angry looking portrait. Very, very nice skin tone in my opinion. Very well done by the factory. Last portrait. So we have a screaming portrait. Uh, screaming unmasked portrait. Uh, his hair is... Wait. Okay. Oh. All of the hairs for the unmasked portraits, the bangs are different. I think all of these strands are also sculpted differently. 
Uh, that's very amazing. It's very unique for each portrait. Okay, moving on to the next layer. Uh, okay, let's start with the torso. Let's see. Oh, he has two torsos. Okay, so we have the first torso here. Let's move this guy a bit. Okay. He has a lot of textures, but at the back, a little bit on the side here on his ribs area. Uh, yeah, some textures also here on his neck area. But I think it's a cloth like texture. Very, very muscular magneto. Lots of shading, like I mentioned earlier. The armor here on his uh, forearm is metallic paint. This guy is matte purple, as well as his gloves. And yeah, the, the reds are also uh, matte red. So here is the first torso. There's a, actually a torso straight switch up. Not sure which. Uh, so I'm gonna go for Wow looking good Oh yeah we'll definitely go for this torso I like this one better So here we have the second torso. Uh, the scope is very consistent. Textures at the back, textures on the purple area, but the pose is different from this guy since this one is a little bit more calm in my opinion and this one is a little bit more angry looking. Kinda wish they have a torso stand, you know, to make this guy stand. Okay, more on that later the back next is we have the cape and this is the last one uh, on the box yep and let's remove the uh, white foam first Wow, the cape is massive. Look at that. Massive, guys. Uh, okay. The, uh, what do you call this, this thing that holds the cape? It's metallic paint, but the cape itself is not metallic. Uh, and the uh, insides of his cape, the paint looks like that it's real leather. So, but the, at the back, it's different. It's just matte. I kind of wish that it were uh, all like this. A little bit glossy there, it's a um, shading. Okay, let's install the cape. Uh, I think I might have to install it at the back. Hmm. The cape is, wait. Let's move the box first here. And the velcro there. So, gonna move this here. Hopefully, I can install the cape. Maybe it's easier if I install the cape into the torso first. it might break so yeah it's definitely 
Okay. So it's definitely easier to install the cape first uh, to the torso than the torso to the lower body. Wow, this magneto looks pretty good. I actually don't want to install this, guys. Uh, I mean, it's not that obvious, but we'll see. So let's put on some portraits. Uh, this guy needs a calm looking portrait. Here you go. You guys think. Let's change the angle of this camera again. So this is uh, one of the possible switch out. We have a flying looking magneto, I think. Yeah, he looks floating, very simple. So yeah, so this is one of the possible um, look for this magneto. So let's change this with a more calm looking unmasked portrait. The unmasked portrait on this magneto looks pretty good. I'm really considering on displaying him unmasked so you know there's a difference from the rest of my other magnetos. So let's try the other uh, torso. Okay. Oh wait, there you go. Wow, perfect fit. Would you look at that? So you need to angle the cape, like uh, really angle it to make it uh, go in. Now it's time to look at this guy. Wow, I really like this uh, portrait switch out. So the only the angry looking portraits would fit this guy. There you go. I really like the unmasked portrait. Hmm. Might use an unmasked portrait on this guy. Okay. Let's try the light up mask. There you go. Wow, it looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty impressed on this one. And I'm glad that the studio picked this project up and was able to actually finish it. So to end the video, I would say that this is a pretty darn good Magneto statue. I really love the paint up from the base to Magneto. Uh, the base is ju uh, just a steel metal parts uh, merged together. Mm. And like I said in previous videos that uh, Custom usually paints their steel or metal parts with one paint. But this one isn't painted with one paint. And it, definitely looks pretty good like i'm i'm hoping that uh other customs will follow this kind of paint up for steels metal stuff because uh this definitely give more depth to the base and as for magneto i love the uh paint they use i'm really glad there are some metallic uh paint or elements to him especially the helm the collar thing that holds the cape and his belt uh, some magnetos doesn't make this metallic, but they did, which I love. Really, really love the paint up. Uh, I really love they also added some textures. Overall, I really love this magneto. Uh, it's definitely better than the magnetos I have right now. This magneto has the best unmasked portraits, in my opinion. Like, look at that. All their unmasked portrait looks pretty good, you know? And I love all of them. So I might display him unmasked 
So finally I have a magneto that's unmasked that I'm going to display since I usually uh, opt to use mask portrait because they usually look better, you know. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you for watching this unboxing and hope you guys like it. Like and subscribe. This is Carl and see you in the next one.